This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. When you're entering data in a table, there are just a few quick shortcuts that I want to share with you. Let's go ahead and open up a table. So I'm in my access database and I'm going to open up the customer table. So we'll just open customer table. And I want to go to a brand new record. I want to start at the bottom, but I don't know how long this is. It might be 2,000 rows, it might be two rows. Okay, it's not two rows, but you get the idea. Any number of rows. At the bottom of my screen here, I have a record. And this allows me to move around the first record, the last record, and it's just, it's kind of a little search feature. But to the right of that, it says new blank record. And so when I click on new blank record, it automatically takes me to the bottom. At the bottom of the screen here, I have the asterisk, and the asterisk indicates that what I'm about to type is the new record. So it puts me in the new record. Now you see the new in parentheses? New in parentheses simply indicates that you have an auto number field, so it's automatically going to number for you. You don't have to do the numbering, so you just tab right on past that. But look, if you try to type, I'm trying, it won't work. And at the bottom of the screen, it tells me why. Bottom left, it says control can't be edited. It's bound to auto number field ID. So it indicates for me why I'm not able to type. When I'm trying to enter data, it's indicating, no, you can't do that. So I just tab on over, and this will be company X, Y, Z. Now, I want you to notice that as soon as I started typing company, my auto number popped in, and it skipped 30. And that's because I already typed in 30, and then I deleted it, because I wanted you to see that if an auto number isn't there, you can't fix it, you can't change it, it's just gone. And you don't have to worry about that because the point of an auto number field is so that there's nothing repeated. It doesn't matter what the number is. Nobody cares what the number is. They simply care that there's a number in that field and it's not ever a duplicated number. So don't stress that you're missing number 30. If that was a problem, you wouldn't use an auto number field. You'd use a number field so you could assign the number at any time that you wanted to. All right, I'm moving forward, tabbing. Now, I don't really have um, a person, a real person that I want to put in here. I just want to show you how you can get started entering data. But let's pretend like you had the same last name. You had someone with the last name of Lee. This one's easy to type, right? L-E-E. -E. But what if it weren't? Control apostrophe repeats information for you. So control apostrophe allows you to duplicate what was exactly above what you're typing. Let me just do it again. Tab control apostrophe, see how it's a repeat for me? Now, don't worry that I'm making a mistake here because I also want to show you what happens when you don't want the entire record, so not to worry. I don't want the entire record. It shows me here to the left, a nice little icons. Remember the asterisk meant next new record. The pencil with the three little dots means I am currently editing or I'm currently creating a record, and as long as you have that icon to the left of your record, your escape key allows you to erase. So if I don't like what I'm typing on this new entry, I just type Su Young. If I hit escape, it erases the entire entry. Now, depending on where you are in the typing, it may only erase the current item that you've typed. So escape key is going to be your eraser. Sometimes you'll have to escape out in order to erase the entire line. Sometimes escape just erases the one thing that you're working on. Let me give you one more keyboard shortcut while we're talking about entering data. I don't have a date field right now, but if you had a date field, you could do control semicolon, and control semicolon puts in the current date. So if you have a date field and you need the current date, use control semicolon. Well, I'm on the next new record, but remember, if you want the next new record, the shortcut is down here at the bottom to take you to the new blank record. And before I leave this topic of entering table data, I want to just mention very, very quickly, I want to mention that the um, problem with entering table data is this. If you have a user who does not know how to utilize access and they get curious, here's what might happen if they're in your table. 
they might discover how to get into design view of the table and they might, just because they're curious, not because they want to be destructive, but curiosity sometimes gets the best of people, they might be playing in here, looking at things, and not know how to get back, and then hit the Save button, and they've changed the design of your table. And so my recommendation is, rather than allowing users who don't understand access, let me get back over here to the data sheet view, Instead of having them enter data in the data sheet view of a table, my recommendation is create a form, lock down the form so they can't get into the design, and then let them enter data in a form. And forms can look just exactly like tables. But the benefit of doing that is for those people, those users who just may not be comfortable with data and entering data, and they're curious. So. You now know, though, a few little tricks about entering table data. And so if you want to enter data in your table, you're all set to go. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.